Go Next week on Fishing Is My Happy Place. <laughs> <laughs> the tug is a drug, boys. It is. It is. It is. It is. Oh, we're gonna spool out. There's, there's enough line, and we'll move You're if we fine. have to. <laughs> Oh, oh, he popped out. Popped oh, out. No! no! Coming up next time, we'll actually catch one. <laughs> uh, that was not a coconut bite, guys. <laughs> no. Nor a trout bite or a Chinook bite. Uh, a lot bigger than the coconut I'm used to fishing. <laughs> yeah. yep. Holy mother of God! Let's say goodbye to our river monster. Let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. Let go. Good. There you go. Gone. See ya! <laughs> yeah! Back him. Oh, yeah! Oh, so everybody's on, look at this guys! Everybody's on quad point! Hitter, quad hitter! Hell yeah! Oh, <laughs> oh. oh my god! They call them freshwater marlin for a reason, dude. Oh, <laughs> you want some fish on? Wild DC fishing! Good girl! Look at that! What was that? Did I just, did anybody see that? Yeah, Guess good. what? You got it! <laughs> yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, so weird turn of events. Guess where I am? I don't even have a damn clue. <laughs> But I'm accompanied with my friend right here, Mr. Shore Lord, Lauren right here. Anyways, uh, we were supposed to just go lake fishing today. And then sometime in between that and dinner time, they said change of plans. And we're going sturgeon fishing. Woo! I don't even know what that means. But anyways, so I brought some stuff, I brought some gear. I don't really know what we're doing, but uh, come along for the ride. And uh, if you haven't yet, please uh, like, share, subscribe, and uh, check out the links. So we got some uh, interesting uh, links in the bottom for the uh, guide trip. It's a guide trip, by the way. And uh, the Shore Lord link. Hey, Lauren, I got something for you. Okay, Lauren, I got something for you. Well, I was waiting to get for everybody. But here you go, buddy. There you go, check it out. So yeah, some new stuff Ooh. came in, and I just wanted to show my new decal out. Yeah. Check it Look out. That. What do you think about that? <laughs> These ones look sharp, man. Yeah, don't they? Woo! Oh, there's the group. There's the group. It's time to go fishing. What's going on, guys? What's your name? Adventures with uh, Mr. Tim. Yep. So he's a guide boat, and uh, this is a surprise trip. So we're trying to find fish, and I'm learning so much in uh, within the two minutes that we're on the boat. So, so we got this super cool uh, uh, device here to find the fish, and we're looking for these hubs and clusters. So <laughs> we find the fish, okay. we put the hook on their mouth. What else is there? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. So <laughs> don't go swimming. That's a decent sized fish. So and then there's another up. one right above it. That's a decent sized fish yeah. too. Okay, all right. Oh, those are two really nice marks. Yeah. You're cruising up, you want to get in front of them and then just drop bait in front of them. Because these guys, all they're doing is just, there's three right there. There's one, a two, cluster three, of three. Four. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> these guys are excited, so that must mean something. Those five right there are good sized fish. 
So what's the terrain we're looking for here? Well, it's all, most of this is all flat. It all varies. This yeah. is this is the flat run, right? It's just kind of a, a flat, sandy kind of gravelly bottom. They can be anywhere. So yeah, we're on the jet boat. So safe to say my boat can't do this, right guys? I have an outboard. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's not it can. It's not yeah, recommended. but uh, these are big fish. Yeah, and the other problem is if you're going in here and you don't have a sonar like this and you don't know the depths, yeah. if you have a, a prop or something, you're gonna, you'll beat yourself on a sandbar. Right. Without even knowing it. It can go from 32 feet to three feet in three seconds. Yeah. So um, if somebody wanted to get in touch with uh, Wild BC Fishing, how do we do that? Uh, you can check out wildbcfishing.ca or on my Facebook, Wild BC Fishing Adventures, or they can call me at 604-791-2529. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave that link at the bottom, all that information, and uh, let's see what happens today. How about a big hurrah, guys, for the fish coming up? Hoorah! Hoorah! <laughs> all right, see you guys in the next fish. So what I like to do is I like to run a little bit lighter on the center, a little bit heavier on the outsides. So then that way, as the water kind of drags it back, you have a little bit better spread, right? And it holds a little bit better, but that's just the way I do it. Everybody's a little different. Especially me. Right. How about the gear though? What is that? What uh, so that? what we're doing is um, I've got pen squall yep. uh, reels. I've got uh, technium uh, rods, um, 10 aught hooks. Right, right. Um, then you put your clevis up here. So I like to run some beads. You have a nice leader. Goes down to a hook like so, barbless of course, right? Right. And this is all on a slider here. Okay. So you go a little bit lighter. Throw it here. And then when it sits on the bottom, it sits like so. Okay, so we're gonna be anchored down, and we're gonna be running four rods. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. perfect. So bait, are you guys putting bait on there? Yep. Yeah. So what's the uh, menu of choice? Mm, so right now it's kind of a little bit of whatever they feel like they're gonna take. Uh, right now there's not much food in the water, so they'll take a bit pretty much anything. Um, they do yeah. prefer, they have their favorite. But they kind of are picky, you know what I mean? Like some days they'll take roast, some days they'll take hooligan, some days they'll take <laughs> just pure meat, right? Yeah, he's setting you up. Ooh. Ooh. Tim <laughs> sure, Ooh, Lord. Yeah. Serious so fishing you're doing tackle. tackle now too. Check yeah, that out. We'll tell you next weekend. <laughs> Deal. Okay. Yeah. There you Deal. go, sure, Lord. Right on. I'll buy both. That's good. Oh, is that well, the... for today you don't have to buy nothing, right? Well, no, but from from going forward, I'll buy both. It's not good. Oh, cause look at this, it's guys! Like, it's like a torpedo almost, like nice and flat, so it doesn't get snagged as easily. Ah, okay, all right. <laughs> so it would lay here in the water column, and your bait would just trail behind it like this. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's the goal of it. Well, and I have a lot of people to ask here. And then you have, uh, I also find that when you have a flat wedge weight like that, when you start reeling in, it picks up and then it uh, kind of planes through the water, yeah. so that way you don't wind up clipping it on stuff. Whereas if you have the pyramids or whatever, then you find they're, they're dragging a lot more, right? With the sock here? Oh, it stabilizes the boat so you don't sway. Ah, uh, so it, yeah. oh, I see, that's, uh, yeah, that's good thinking. Yeah, it keeps the boat stable, keeps it, keeps it pointed. Oh, I Stops see. Stops the swinging about, right? Keeps those weights. So even though, even though we're anchored, we still need those to keep us so Yeah, or else you're going to do this in the current. Ah, uh, And sometimes in current, you need four. four. Some guys, I've seen six before, but that's like super fast. That too, right? That makes a huge There you go, difference. you got one on each side. So meat, meat, and row. Yeah. Meat, meat, and row. Do you meat do anything with those uh, row at all, or just all fresh? Oh, it's uh, as fresh well, as possible. Yeah, as fresh as possible. So it came out of the. These guys actually helped me catch it. Yeah. Uh, quite a bit of it. I don't know if it was that tub specifically, but we went up and we, we did a whole bunch of chumming one day. Yeah. That's okay, a chum row. Are those all loose? Though? Tanner, did you bring yeah, them out of singles? Singles? Yeah, single eggs. So it's just loose eggs. Do you have some sort of like bait sack for it then? Or what? Yep. Yeah. I've oh, got, okay, uh, you use pantyhose. So I think I forgot pantyhose. my pantyhose for this job today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's highlight the pantyhose though. <laughs> hey! Just, yeah, this is, is, that, is this a trade brand, secret? Cookies. Did you get this from the tackle store? What's going no, on? No, we got this from the dollar store. <laughs> and the looks you get when you ask for it, you have to tell them that it's for comfort or they won't sell it to you. <laughs> I noticed right? it's the comfortable. Nude, the, nude, the nude color. I do like the nude yeah. color, yeah. right? It's a little bit better. I, I don't like the dark. I mean, I find that. The, the, the sturgeon, I mean, they're, they have basic vision, but the more contrasty, the more, the more they're gonna notice, right? Look at the full panty okay, these guys are blowing my mind. So now, okay, so noted, pantyhose, weights, hooks, and bait so far. So what makes a good pantyhose for the job? I like uh, a nice wide mesh. I mean, the cheaper, <laughs> the cheaper dollar store ones, you find they aren't uh, the, you don't the want quality. 
right? No, you want to cheap out, right? You want to cheap out because the 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 dollar store ones, the the actual weave in them is a lot more spread out, uh, right? Gets your hook through it better. You know what I mean? Opens it up a little bit more when you stretch it out to open it. Well, I'm not quite sure what you mean since I don't really have much experience with pantyhoses. Oh, come on now. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll see where you're at at the end of the day. <laughs> right? Oh, no, this is not for you, honey. I bought this for Christian. Gotta make a stop on the way home. I love that strategy there with your hand right, right there. Get it in there. That's all you need? That's all you need. You don't need very much. I mean, the sturgeon, when they're down there, they don't normally eat big giant skeins a row. Uh, they're eating single eggs, right? Okay, all right. So I take, got a nice little chunk, okay. right? You give her a little twist and twist <laughs> like this, right? Swing yeah. it around. That way it kind of compacts it all down. All right. Then I like the magic string. Ah, uh, okay. You get a little of this. Like a spider wire. Exactly. And then you just kind of give her down. So that'll, that'll never uh, dwindle away in the water, right? It'll always remain that way. It'll, it'll remain like that, but it will milk out pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, row, you have to change out, I, I figure maybe every 15, 20 minutes, depending on uh, water conditions. Right. Temperature, the warmer the water, the um, the more current, the faster it'll go. Right. Shove it right through. Ah. Okay. See, dollar store pantyhose. See, it's just juicy and tasty, and see how it's just leaking a little bit? Okay. That's what we like. Then they get the scent in them, right? Okay, so you got to spand out right now. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. You want to spread them out a little bit, get that, get that scent trail going. Okay, so we're running a different spread on each one. Is it, that, that's what it looks like. Yeah. So this is some coho salmon that I caught during the year. Beautiful. That doesn't even look that bad for eating. No, it's not. I just, I chose to keep it for okay. sturgeon. Okay. Uh, for whether I shore fish or go out with Tim, whatever I want. It's always nice when you got a buddy and he's like, hey, I got bait for you. Ooh, Let's right? go out. One of the hardest things that uh, there is about doing this is having bait. So most oh, guys, right. they go meat to skin. I don't know why. Meat to skin? Yeah. Okay. They prefer to go meat to skin. It holds on the hook a little bit better. <laughs> so what, what's the difference here, guys, in the uh, shore fishing and on the boat? Uh, well, with this, you can you can, you can scan it. There's almost um, a lot more guarantee on this than shore fishing. Yeah. yeah, shore fishing is kind of just a crap shoot. Like, you just walk up to the shoreline and go, this looks like a good spot, cross it. Yeah, this, I'm cool. actually, actually actively, like, being predatory. Yeah, yeah right? Oh! oh the <laughs> rod breaker there. <laughs> Jeez. That's the kind of set you got to do. Uh, okay, guys, let's talk about a little bit about uh, regulation. So, right now, we're at the freshwater side of the Fraser. Yes. And uh, I had to get a sturgeon. Uh, so yeah. apart from the freshwater uh, license, you're going to require a tag as well, right? Yeah, conservation surcharge sur sur stamp. So do we also have to note anything on paper uh, once we catch no. one? No, you just have a permit for the day or week or what's well, a day, five days or the year. Right. And how about the, um, the tidal side? Tidal side isn't completely different. That's federal. Right. So right what? now we're dealing with provincial waters. It's a provincial license. When you open up uh, down past Mission Bridge, that's all considered tidal, and that's a totally different ball game. That's salt water. And do we need a tag down there too? So there's no just tag. Just an ocean tag. Oh, it's okay. just an ocean license. I'll leave all that information about the regulations in the link below. See you guys on next fish. Okay, guys, we got about half an hour in, and uh, we had one close bite. But I guess the half an hour is usually the etiquette to move on and uh, rebate. So, see you guys next spot. Okay, so we're on our next spot. That didn't take long to switch up, eh? So you said you have different weights on the outside and on the inside? Yeah, I like a little bit heavier on the outside because then it doesn't drag so far on the inside, right? right? So you have the water current is going to keep these ones nice and straight and they're lighter so they're going to want to go with the water current whereas if you go a little bit heavier then it tends to keep them out a little bit heavier you know what i mean <laughs> what am i supposed to be doing right now boys hanging on, on. <laughs> oh she's going hold it right up there yeah nice and steady yeah, buddy. Oh, how long do I do this for? Uh, uh, until you see the fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was quick, guys. <laughs> and it's a decent one, too. Oh, that's a good fish. Are we going to get spooled out here? <laughs> All you got to do is spool the fish. Are we going to spool out there's here? An, there's enough line and we'll move Here's if we have one. to. 
Oh, 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 popped out. Popped oh, out. No! No! Coming up next time, we'll actually catch one. <laughs> I think this ran like 150 feet out. Uh, that was not a coconut bite, guys. <laughs> no. Nor a trout bite or a Chinook bite. That was... Uh, we'll try this again. That felt like... Uh, well, at least he felt Ooh. it now. Sorry, Jim. That felt like something new. That was a good fish. How big was that? You think? Oh, at least twelve. There's no idea. <laughs> <laughs> that was the biggest fish in the in the Fraser River. You just lost. <laughs> you don't. You're not really gonna get an idea of how big it is. Like you, you can guesstimate that that thing was I'm definitely guess the, over six, six or six, seven. Six <laughs> definitely six over six or seven. That okay, guys, tune in for the next bite and a uh, couple more screams. We'll see you guys. <laughs> running though, boys. Oh, I know. Okay, so you're gonna take the corner. So the theory is you uh, pull and then you reel down on the slack. Okay. Uh, oh. Keep, keep holding, keep holding. Just hold it. You're fine. There you go. Okay, so if it's running like that, you know he's just here. Just, just hold him. Just hold him. See how you're not, oh, so you're not going anywhere? Right? So he's just holding right now. Just hold him. Okay, let's hold him. Just hold him. <laughs> he's going to work you for a while. Holy crap, guys. This is a tag. I think still taking Yeah, I think this is actually hooked properly now. You think? You sure? <laughs> Real. Yeah, just like that. I'll stay yeah. at five. Well, holy crap, my arm's going to <laughs> hey, hold, hey, hold the rod up a little bit more and keep your arm straight. Okay. Arm yeah. straight. Yeah. You can also sit down, too. Hey, you can sit yeah. down. Rest, just take a seat. There you go. Holy <laughs> crap, I'm holy. Good hit right? on the double. Keep your arm straight. Yeah. That's the best way to keep your stamina going. <laughs> Is it too late to tell you guys I got tendonitis on my arm? Is it too late to pass it off? Okay, he's giving you a little bit. There you go. Now you're starting to get it. Yeah, whenever he gives a little bit, you oh. shake. Yeah, no, you're good, you're good. He's that's, head shaking That's you. kicking. This is uh, a lot bigger than the kokanee I'm used to fishing. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> okay, so now if, if he goes to dive, you gotta follow him, follow him with it. Yeah. If he comes to the side of the boat, you're gonna have to come around. Exactly. Yeah, you gotta work with the fish. Go down. Good. This uh, is a weird one. Next week on Fishing is My Happy Place. Woo! <laughs> 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 okay, reel down. This is a short fight. Give me a shot. <laughs> He's right under the boat. Oh. Your arm's sore? It's only been five minutes. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea. Yeah. Well, how does it feel to be on your first fish? I'll let you know when it's done. <laughs> This is a big tug. Oh. 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 Holy mother of God! Oh. It's a little guy. Best reaction Holy crap, dude. Dude, that is a river monster, man. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Love it. Holy crap, guys. Anybody brought extra underwear today? <laughs> So I got my waders on guys. It's a big rush to get the waders wow. on. So we're gonna go on shore here. Wow. Oh, they're rough heads, eh? Yes. Oh yeah, they're sharp too. Watch for the scoots. Okay, so what do I do now, boys? So we're gonna First, we're gonna get you up for a picture. And then, so you go right to the tip. Right on the scoots. Right down. Okay. Not so tight. There you go, gentle, gentle. Right to the V of the tail. 58. 58, the 58 flat on. It's almost 58. six feet. It's almost my feet. There you go. Yeah. Damn it, I was close. Hey, Guys, that's, this is freaking amazing, man. Wild BC Fetching, thank you very much. We got a nice 58 uh, inch sturgeon. So what do we do now, guys? Now you just kind of gently let her go. This is a catch and release fishery. So thank you very much for tuning in, tuning in and uh, say goodbye to our river monster. Try to name him, try to name him this way. Let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. 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 Let him go.
I see. Holy crap. Right on your so, eye, buddy. So, so, guess what? Job, now it's time to get an even bigger one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay, guys, we're gonna move on. We're gonna keep going for it again, I guess. And uh, how about a shout out to who, who's over here right now? Wild BC Fishing. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Tanner Marcotte. We got Tanner. Shore Lord. We got Shore Lord, Lauren. Dalton. We got Dalton, we got Tim. Yeah. Somewhere over here. <laughs> okay guys, uh, I guess it's time. They don't want us to rest, we gotta go. Coming up next on Can We Break Brennan? <laughs> Let's talk about the gear here, guys. So we got a... Squall 16 VS. We got a pen. Squall 16 VS. And then, what's your rod right here? No, 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 check check How long is this rod here? Eight foot. Eight, eight foot. And, uh, okay, and then the poundage. What, what kind of poundage uh, you got? It's 150 this? pound braid. And then I'm running 250 pound uh, liter. All right. So is this something more like a starter or more like a pro model here? That's That's a, model. That is a pro model. <laughs> yeah? 100%. <laughs> So if somebody wanted to get started, I mean, what the, what's the price mark? Pen Squall 40. Pen Squall 40. Pen Squall 40, all right. It's all, it's simple. These have a little bit more going on in them. Okay, right on. Back them. Oh, yeah! Oh, real, 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 real. Nice job, bros. Yeah! Let me see you reel that. <laughs> so everybody's on, look at this, guys. Everybody's on point. Quad header, quad Hell yeah. <laughs> Don't so three guys to clear. Oh again, Darren, don't want to see it. This is I pure teamwork here, guys. At its finest. Tim, hey, who wants it? Yeah, who's taking it from Tim? Lauren shows what's Sorry, up, man. Tim, you do Tim's it. Tim's caught, caught Tim's I caught. No, no, I don't know, guys. Oh, Somebody oh, get it. Yeah. <laughs> I love that click, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All be the cold. The click's the best part. There we go. There you go. Ah, uh, <laughs> running scooters. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab some cool meat here. Right on. Just a little You're smaller than the other time. one, eh? As it goes right there. Right there it down. is. Oh yeah, baby. Mmm. Wow. That was good. That was good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. Oh yeah. Hey Brandon, let's take the show out. I need one more weight. So we got <laughs> we got deep water now. Yeah. yeah. We got water faster. Curve. That's that'll be a better representation. Big, big old twenty. That's twenty four oh, right see. there. So more weight, deep water. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's current. Don't worry about it. <laughs> more current than anything. Like that. Yeah. Than the depth. Right. Right. All right. Four, four, one, 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 one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Oh, oh, that's the current. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that's a fish, Tim. Oh, oh, that's a decent fish. Like nice, dude. That's five minutes. Go, Tanner's on the mix. Let's go. This is a whole other type of fight, guys. Check it out. 
That's a whole lot of fish on the there end of that line. Tim's a in charge. A whole lot of fish, all right. A whole lot of fish. Drop down, reel in. That's three fish, hey, boys. Hey, hey. Yeah, drop bad. down. Okay, that's the strategy right here, guys. Not bad for early season. No, not at all. What, when is the season? Uh, just starting it's now. Just starting up yeah? now, yeah. As soon as the water temperature starts getting warmer. Last year was warmer uh, about this time, so we're doing better. Uh, a lot has to do with water temperature and uh, yeah, the way they want to go. You're looking like a 10 out of 10 right now, buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Six foot. Oh my oh my god. God. That thing does want a riser. That's sick. Uh -huh. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, that was a Yeah! One more hit out. Let's go! They call them freshwater uh -huh. marlin for a reason, dude. Oh, <laughs> Five minutes, boys. Yeah. Why we wait 20? We'll do that, baby. Click. <laughs> you want some fish on? Wild BC fishing, boys and Wild girls. BC fishing adventure. Here we go. Right here. There you go, repping it. Check out that view, guys. We got some um, snow-capped mountains back there. Beautiful. Mr. Shore Lord, what do hey. you think? We got Mr. Shore Lord right here. Oh, living the dream. Living the dream. <laughs> Again for us. One more jump. Yeah. I mean, you might as well let it play, right? <laughs> you know what guys, it's always the last bite, isn't it? It always is. So there you guys go. If you get it, when, you, when you get a big fish like this, you got no choice but to follow the fish. And you see that? He's dancing around on both sides of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. It's going. Woo! God, I don't miss this one. Right? I miss this. Like... Don't miss this or you miss this boat. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's saying. He can't even talk. He doesn't know what he's saying right now. They were talking about new sentences. There you guys go, guys. Uh, it's a pretty entertaining guide so far. And uh, check it out. More fish on. Love it. So immediately, guys, I noticed immediately as soon as that fish is on, they clear everything out, including the socks out of the water. Notice all the rods are empty. So as you can see, Tim is inside working the helm just so he can get the, uh, the best position for this fish. Yeah, that's bigger than the last one. That might be sick. There you go. That's nice. a dino! That's a dino! Oh, Arm straight now. Yeah. yeah, I love the positioning there, bud. You're comfortable the whole way. Yeah? Let that broad, fish pull. Rod stays at about a 45 degree. Okay. Oh my! <laughs> that is a dino! Okay guys, we're gonna take it down to the shore now because uh, this, oh, is, that might be more than this is over the size to be able to get on the boat. Yeah, so right, this, eh? this is the procedure right now. Everybody's putting on the waders and we're gonna land this fish on shore. I'm gonna say six. Oh, that yeah. thing is huge. Oh, instantly. Yeah, that's good. Flip them that? Nice Out job. Instantly. Flip them upside down. Right in where you are. Hot tail. Grab the nose. Hold the middle. Hold tight. Oh, you're right. That thing's got an empty belly. 67. You see That's, how the belly sunk yeah. in? Yeah, I see that. Yeah, so belly sunk in because they're not, there's no fault. Three, two, one, zero. Oh, there's a little bit of a Gotta get her a kiss, baby. All right. Good girl. Let it go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, baby. This pop. Whoa, number one. one number one, one number one. one, one. one, one. So I don't know if you guys noticed, uh, people are calling out numbers. There's a reason for that, guys. So we got four rods here, one, two, three, four. and they're all marked with a one. Is this just specific to the boat, or is this, just it's just, it. it's just the way people do it, or just the way of, you do it? A lot of boats do it. Yeah. Okay. A lot of boats do it that way. A lot of boats do it opposite We're way. So because of the eyes on the boat, people are keeping an eye on each rod. And when you call, you can't just call fish on because there's four rods out. So when you call one, immediately you reach for that rod. Now you got number two. Yeah. yeah that's 
There you go. We yeah, saw yeah. that fish on, boys. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Let's go, guys. Mr. Tim knows what he's doing. Check it out. We, we, we try. We just promise a good time. That's all. We try to have a great time. We have that. Everything else falls in place. <laughs> Wow, and the fish is a bonus too, right? Right? That is it. That's the same <laughs> thing. A lot of people get caught up on fishing. It's not about fishing. It's about having a good time with your buds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Surgeon, it's not a salmon. <laughs> <laughs> go, Dalton. Go. He's got it. He's got it. The one just jumped right there. What was that? Oh, Did yeah. I just, anybody see that? Yeah, one just jumped. Everybody's doing the part. Yeah, that belly's sunken in for sure. Yeah. Nice job. <laughs> 71 and a half. Oh. 71, 71 and a half. Yep, yeah, looks good. So close, I tried. Close to seven. I tried to stretch. That's a lot of fish, though. <laughs> you gotta catch one. You gotta catch one. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Beauty. Nice job, buddy. Good job, boys. Teamwork at its best. Right? High fives all around. Thanks, Thanks for getting us out. Thank Thanks you. For coming up, nice Brandon. idea, thank bro. You, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Straight up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we're in a cozy cabin, guys. That was an amazing fishing day today. Yeah, totally new experience, guys. I can't believe this is what's happening today. But yeah, that's not even the biggest as they come. They come way bigger than that. Anyways, great boat, great fishing day, great boys to fish with. And now the rain has come. And it's probably time for us to go pretty soon here. Unless the bite is still happening.